a good game, lad. He came here to fight tonight, he came here to spoil. He took some good punches, finally got to him and uh, end of round two. And that was it, I switched up southpaw. You know, tonight, I never wasn't even off, I got to let him have it from the southpaw position. Just wanted to put on a good show, you know, and I got a big six foot five, 18 stone man out of there with switched up with his left hand. And he looked good in the first round, he was missing, trying that left hand, trying the right hand, making you think. He caught me with a couple of shots, fair play, but as I always say, you can't go swimming and not get wet. Now, Tyson, it was your Las Vegas debut, the atmosphere, the crowd, what was it like when you walked out and you sensed that noise and you went down to the Apollo Creed outfit? It was amazing, I hope it went down well in America. I hope they enjoyed the performance, and, you know, I came here to have fun and enjoy myself. I don't take it too serious, as you can tell there, Steve. But, you know, okay. I'm not one of them people who takes myself too seriously, so I thought I put on a good show and the fans got what they paid for. Now, I'm here in September or October. Does that fit with you? Is that, is that what you ideally want? Either or, September 21st, October 5th, I think I'm back in New York, and we're going to have another fight, and then we're going to hunt down Deontay Wilder. And it is Wilder that's on your horizons. That's the man you want, isn't it? You want justice. You want justice. You know, I'm not going to look past today. Tonight was a great performance. I'm going to enjoy it. Um, you know, Bob, Bob and Frank, they'll sit down and get deals done, get me another fight in, and then we're going to fight Deontay Wilder early next year. Now, Tyson, tonight I'm told there's going to be the party of all Vegas parties with you as the leader. Just tell me what's going to be going on. Well, we're all heading off to Akasan after this uh, for the official after party. And I hope you're there. I know Frank's going to be there. Everyone's going to be there. So come down and uh, we'll all have a drink. Come down and we'll all have a drink, Tyson. Frank, you're going to the after party. But before we talk about that, I thought he was at his most vicious tonight. His most vicious. If you can scramble through as they remove Tyson's gloves. I thought he was at his most vicious tonight, Frank. He was brilliant. It was a great performance. He was calm, collected. He said that bit, bit of extra weight he felt. He weren't, as I said earlier, training to make weight. He was perfect. He was punch perfect. He's done a great job. And the other guy come to fight. He didn't come to sit on the floor. He tried. And he, he stood up well, the other guy. So we're looking at September, October, maybe on the East Coast. Is that what's that right? Maybe. We'll see what happens. We're going to sort of out in the next couple of days. Okay. And next year, Frank, you heard the reaction of the crowd, and not just the Brits, the Americans. They want that Wilder fight. It puts pressure on Wilder now, surely. Well, it does, but they want to make it. And, you know, it's the same, the same here. Everybody wants to make the fight happen, and it will happen. And Tyson, finally with you, if I can. I've never seen you look so relaxed. Was there any point in tonight, as you're making your way to the ring, or when you got in the ring, when you thought, you know what, we might have, a, might have to have a bit of a fight tonight? I never think that. I always come to enjoy myself. Um, and I did that, you know. Just want to say a big shout out, Frank Warren, making this possible. He brought me back from the brink of defeat. I was out, gone, down and out. I thanks to Frank. I came back. Big shout out MTK Global and all my sponsors as well. You know what it is, Tyson, and just finally, it's a boxing fairy tale. From where you were 16, 17, 18 months ago to where we're standing now, no amount of fantasy or dreaming could have ever dreamt that. It's a fairy tale story, and I'm still living the dream, you know. 20, uh, 29 and 0 now, um, 20 knockouts, one draw. I'm, I'm just over the moon, you know. It was, it's a fairy tale story, and we roll on and on and on and on. Well, I'm going to let you go. I'm not going to ask you to sing. Enjoy yourself tonight at a party. All the best. God bless. Thanks very much indeed. Thanks to everybody waiting up at home on BT Sports.